Although the Delta State government says its motive is the threat posed by persistent flooding in Waria Nasaba, the traders, however, lament the economic situation as the reason for the street trading. It's trying to do now. This one is a very bad work because, to me, we do not have work doing here. This place is the place that we used to feed and where we used to do, manage ourselves. So if you say you want to stop us now, the question is say we should go and thief, and we cannot thief because it's not in our blood. Like the road owner for the cells so now they manage my life. They manage my children. My husband not get work. Now let me they carry the load. Both us now let me they pay. Everything now let me. And the government say we will not sell for road. I will not get money to rest on. We do will just survive. Despite the criticism by some Deltans that the state government is following the path of Lagos State, where the State House of Assembly enacted a law to this effect. Other traders said the government is pushing them to do things that are unbecoming. Yeah. If they don't say they want rifles, may they provide work for person. But now because of the work for it, I know we pay them. Nobody they are as I did, I'm not they are that for this place. So that's the only thing I get. They're not supposed to drive us, but I hear we say they manage, so they take care of our family. They make it as it look as we now get anything. I've been with you now, I tell the struggle. They train my children. My husband don't die. As the exercise sets to begin Monday in Asaba, the state capital, Deltans will be waiting to see if the state government will succeed in removing traders from the road as the Lagos exercise has not yielded the desired result.